Uh, this is our new flagship retail store. It's uh, our temporary location after the fire. And again, just uh, a lot of hard work and some great people and a wonderful community. We were able to open, reopen our store within one month of our massive fire. And we were just, uh, just really so excited about being able to do that and thankful as well that we were able to open that quickly. Well, we begged, borrowed, and steal, uh, stole from other stores that we have that had inventory. And uh, that inventory, you know, really was from these other stores that were just, again, part of our family. And they just were kind enough to let us have the inventory here in Grove City. And uh, we all work together. All of the folks who work at Wendell August are a team, and we work together. Whenever there's a need, we come and rise to that occasion. And we also had a distribution facility, thankfully, uh, and providentially, that was separate from the area in Grove City that had, been, had burned to the ground. And we were able to pull some of the inventory from there as well to have this inventory and be able to open the store. Handcrafted in America, made one at a time by hand. Every one of our metal pieces carries that signature, and it's one that we're really proud of uh, and, and very unique today. Uh, you'll find some extremely unique and only sold at this store uh, Pittsburgh Penguins items that are, are fabulous from coasters and ornaments and bookmarks, only sold here. And our craftsmen are extremely excited to be making those. Uh, our stalwart dogwood pattern, which has been a bestseller. I was just talking to a guest who 47 years ago received one of our dogwood pieces for a, a wedding gift. Still as appropriate today as a gift as it was 47 years ago. Uh, we've got a great tradition, a great heritage, a great history, and one that we celebrate each and every day. And we're just uh, thankful that it resonates with people. American Made uh, really does. You know, people take great pride in, in being able to purchase things that are made right here in America and made right here in Pennsylvania. Yeah, one of the things that, that we're doing with the aluminum tickets that were handed out at Mellon Arena is there was a promotion that the Penguins offered that uh, any uh, ticket holder that uh, received one of these commemorative tickets could come up to our, our newly reopened flagship store here in Grove City and have engraved uh, their section row and seat number into this uh, into the ticket and so we have one of our master craftsmen here today uh, and he's been here all weekend and he is actually uh, hand stamping and engraving in the the, uh, the uh, uh, details for each of the ticket holders of where they were that night at the game and it's just a, it's a wonderful remembrance and the folks are just tickled uh, to death that we're able to do that and we're doing that just at this store uh, we we came up to get our tickets, our aluminum tickets that were handed out at the last uh, Penguins game, home regular season Penguins game, engraved with our seat numbers. And uh, I think I think it's a pretty special thing, and we wanted it to be personalized, so we came up with the earliest opportunity. Well, um, really, my knowledge of the order was, you know, really started on Thursday uh, before the fire, uh, you know, early March there that. Uh, we had uh, received an order. Our salesperson, had, Christian, had worked with uh, the Penguins on, you know, achieving this order, and they wanted to do something special. I had worked last fall f for a custom uh, order for the season ticket holders, and uh, so we produced a Christmas ornament for them uh, to be delivered as a Christmas gift, and then, uh, you know. Still working with them, we you know uh, came up with this new uh, order with, of the ticket for the final regular season game of the Pittsburgh Penguins at Mellon Arena. The new temporary retail store is located about one mile east of the 79 Interchange here in Grove City. Uh, we're able to partner with great friends, and, and we're very thankful for the folks at uh, Slovak Folk Crafts, who had a, a beautiful facility that they were using the whole facility. And they allowed us to come into the building. They gave us uh, a large part of the building so that we could get back up and running. And it was a perfect situation for us because it was a retail establishment that is, is, is really well done. And we were able to basically come in and move in. And really, within a matter of two weeks, since we, from the time we signed the lease, we were able to open our doors.